Hello and welcome to my latest YouTube video and today this one is about this emergency bulkhead light. You see these in Europe and across the UK, slightly different designs and basically the non-maintained ones you'll see lit only with an LED, either a green one or a red one and the maintained ones you'll see with the LED on again but the light will be on as well and these are normally in stairwells but in offices where you have lighting you don't the amenity lights are mainly switched off and only come on in the event of a power failure so um, let's have a power failure When the power fails, the emergency lighting is meant to stay on for a minimum of three hours. And when the lights fail this test, they are replaced. More and more so nowadays, they're all being replaced with LED emergency lighting and the old fluorescent T8s. 8 watts are basically all being thrown away, which is how I managed to get my hands on this one. I've removed the screws to make it easier, but the first thing I think we'll do is show you some information on the side. So I'm going to unplug it because there's no power. On the side of this light, basically an emergency bulkhead, 8 watt non maintained 3 hours, 240 volt 50 hertz some other reference and their IP65 which is the reason why you see these indoors and outdoors. I'll take the cover off. There's another little bit of information uh, you might not be able to read it because it's red but it basically says that uh, it's basically warning you that if you go to do any work on this light make sure the power is turned off because the light may not be lit, but the power will be on. Some safety information. Inside is a battery. This is probably the reason why it's failed. Basically, it tells you, well, it doesn't say when it was installed, which is quite clever. But it also says that the battery was assembled in 2005 and they've got a guarantee of four years, which is probably the reason why this light has failed. On the other side we have basically a charger and a ballast for the light and the difference between maintained and non-maintained is this little bit here. Maintained lights have a extra wire which will can be either switched live or permanent live so the light remains on or can be turned on and off on a light switch. And that is it basically. And the idea is these lights stay on for a minimum of three hours until the power is restored. And I think we'll finish by turning the power back on. And this will end this video. Thank you for watching.